It's been my experience that sooner or later, every ambitious carpenter will get into a situation where they need to draw an ellipse. And whether an ellipse needs to be drawn for an arch door opening, a cased opening, or maybe just an attractive cut on a piece of millwork or trim. It's great to be the person on the job site that can handle the task. So in this video, I'll show you how to quickly and easily draw an accurate ellipse of any size with no math and no strings attached. There's definitely a lot of complicated ways out there for drawing an ellipse. Methods that involve formulas and math and string and fancy tools. But the method I'm going to show you involves a little more than these items on the table here. A tape measure, a pencil, a couple nails, a hammer, a stick, and a piece of rigid material to draw on. To draw an ellipse with this method, we only need two measurements. One will be for the major axis of the ellipse, or the long axis, and the other will be for the minor axis, or the short axis of the ellipse. The difference between the two is what determines the proportions of the ellipse. And that's a sad looking ellipse. Ours is going to come out a lot better than that. So whereas a circle has one center point and a consistent radius, the ellipse has a minor axis and a major axis that give it the elongated shape. So to draw this ellipse, I only need two dimensions. One is for the major axis and one is for the minor axis. And in this case, let's go 11 and a quarter on the minor axis and 23 and a half inches on the major axis. Now we'll take these two dimensions and lay them out on a stick. The stick should be relatively straight and its length needs to be a bit longer than the sum of the major and the minor axis dimensions. So I need a piece that's about three feet long and this will work fine. I'll draw a guideline on the center of the stick and make three marks on it. I'll lay out the first mark which will be the major axis of 23 and a half inches. And from the center mark, I'll make another mark at 11 and a quarter. Next, I'll drill holes at each of these three marks. A larger hole in the middle for the pencil and a small hole at each end for the nails. I like to use these Papermate mechanical pencils because the lead is the twist out type instead of the clicking type so that I can adjust the lead to just the right length to get a clear mark without snapping off the lead. This Sterrett fractional caliper tells me that the diameter of the pencil is just a touch over 5 sixteenths of an inch. So I'm going to choose a 19 sixty-fourths inch brad point bit to drill this hole so that the pencil fits firmly in the stick. I like to use a drill press for making the ellipse stick because it ensures the holes go straight through the stick, which makes it more accurate for drawing the ellipse. That's going to be a nice snug fit. To drill holes in the ends of the stick for the guide nails, I use a bit from a numbered drill index and pick a bit that's small enough so that the nails hold firmly in the drilled hole. In this case, it looks like a number 48. Again, I'm using the drill press for accuracy. If I'm out on the job site and need to draw an ellipse and don't have the benefit of a drill press for accuracy, I'll drive the nails through from the back side of the wood. So if the hole's crooked, at least the nail comes out in the right spot. Same thing with the pencil. It can be run through from the back side so that at least it comes out in the right spot. With holes drilled in the stick, I just drive a nail through the two small ones. And then put the pencil through the larger center hole. The goal is to have the guide nails sticking farther through the stick than the 
tip of the pencil. Like that. Once the stick is set up with a guide nail for the major axis and the minor axis and a pencil for drawing, all it takes to draw an ellipse is to put one guide nail up against each side of the drawing surface and pivot the stick from one position to the other while keeping the nails in contact with the edges at all times. So drawing a perfect ellipse is just that simple. If you like this tutorial, I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, you might want to check out this other video that shows how to draw a circular arc with a pair of sticks or how to draw a circle with a framing square. So thanks for checking out Next Level Carpentry. Thanks for watching. <laughs>